hello, hello, my love bugs. Once again, it's your girl Lumi Love here with another message from the divine. As I always say today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden out your heart. For I'm just a messenger and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for the likes, subscribes, shares, and views. Everything is greatly appreciated, my loves. Let's go ahead and get into something. I don't know what it is, but we're going to get into it. All right. Let me get a couple oracles first. I just keep hearing oracle, 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 oracle. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for divine guidance, clear communication, and divine protection. Go ahead and let me know. I just don't like it. Okay. I don't like it. It's a mess. Let me clean it. <laughs> okay. Thanks. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for divine guidance, clear communication, and divine protection. What we got going? Let's talk about it. Peace, compassion, forgiveness. Ooh. Okay, so you having compassion or you keeping compassion and peace right now is very important. I just got riled up. I do not know why, but it's very important for you to keep the peace. Y'all, I don't know what just hit me, but whatever this is that you're going through is something that's pretty deep. You're being able to peek through the veil right now and see something that maybe was hidden from you, something that you're healing from internally, and you're asked to keep the peace because whatever it is has truly pissed you off. Someone has truly wronged you. You have been very friendly and honest, and this person really did something very impulsive, something very wrong, or whatever it is. You prayed about it, and now a road is opening up for you for forgiveness. The truth is coming out about this, and you're regaining your strength, whatever this situation is. I don't know what it was when it hit me. I don't know if that was a panic attack or what, but I don't know, y'all. I don't know what that was. They want you to continue to be in your north node, continue to be compassionate, peaceful, while they show you things that were hidden from you. Because it's things that have to be revealed in order for you to move forward. In order for you to gain some money, and for order you to keep some money, you about to get some money, and in order for you to keep some money, more people or a few people that are around you have to be exposed, and these things are going to be exposed about these people are horrible, horrible things. These are not going to be no lightweight situations, but that's why you're asked to keep the peace, okay? Your career, your reputation, your money, everything is going to get better. Continue to take action by working forward, even though you can see what was going on. So it's kind of giving me, you have things in your, like your inner child has to heal from. And a lot of us that get upset or emotional about certain things, um, it's kind of like your hidden child. I mean, your inner child is in a room. Okay. Let's say you're creating, they're okay. They're playing. And all of a sudden it's a certain time where the monster comes. It's a certain time where it's this real dark time, you know, and then the child gets scared and gets worried because it's something in the dark, this monster in the dark, something that happened maybe in the past that's being revealed that could possibly, you know, get you riled up. They want you to keep the peace. Keep the peace. Be very disciplined. Okay. This may be a situation that's very serious. Once again, I say this is some something that's real messed up. Maybe some people wanted you to be pessimistic and alone and miserable and frustrated and the things that they did in order to keep you in this energy are now coming out. Yeah, you're healing from this, okay? So healing healing is hard. We all know, but you are going in the right direction. The Holy Spirit wants you to keep going in the right direction, okay? Grace. Take action. Stay graceful. Stay calm. Oh my goodness, y'all. Whatever this is, it's pretty tough. I'm here and keep your heart, three stacks. Keep your heart. You got the strength to do it. Keep your heart. My goodness. I don't even want to. Sheesh. All right, Holy Spirit. What else? I can't tell you what you don't want me to say. Let's get it out. What's going on? All right. Yeah, defend yourself. Guard yourself. Someone's very exhausted. Aspiration. Aspirating? Y'all. Because it was hard for me to breathe. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know, y'all. But keep your kindness and compassion. As I said again, you have spiritually grown. Your prophecy is coming true. You got your guard up to some... 
a relationship in the past of this it was old oh, repressed feelings all right this is something that happened to you it, it had a lot to do with someone who was supposed to love you i'm all right i'm scared i'm gonna let you tell it how you want to tell it this is someone who was supposed to love you that could have been in a family with you or a relationship with you they worked very hard to take you out work very hard to end you your entire life Ever since you were born, this person wanted to take you off this earth. My goodness. Yeah, mortality. This person wanted to cause you a death. What the freak? But your love is triumphing over their hate. This is somebody who was just supposed to love you and they just hated you. They hated you in secret. This was a secret enemy. They did these things in secret to try to take you out. King of Cups. Is this a father, Holy Spirit? Ooh. Just so y'all don't think I be lying when I be on here reading y'all daddies for filth. <laughs> yeah, man. This is a father figure of yours. He's been trying to kill you ever since you were born, dude. Y'all, I'm it's this gonna be short. I'm not gonna drag you through this because this is something. I'm not gonna drag you through this. <sighs> y'all see this? This man was trying to offer you up as a sacrifice. You got some satanic father family members but you turned out to be very strong confident organized articulate energetic optimistic like he wanted to end all that shit for you he also wanted to end your mother that was the first one and she saved you and now you're standing up against what it is that he has going on because she was supposed to be some sort of sacrifice for your father first and that didn't go as planned uh i guess he wanted her to get rid of you so that he could sacrifice you then but she did not do that she moved forward she's a go-getter she's not about to sacrifice no child i'm getting because he tried to play her on some i don't have no money to take care of her so you might as well get rid of her and she didn't and now you are the s-h-i-n-t my love okay go get her and you're you're giving him a run for his money okay it's kind of one of them energies like you 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 are beating your father because he's a horrible person you get what i'm saying it's like karma like he doesn't obviously respect feminists he don't respect you he didn't care about you but whatever he is you are that too but you are the higher vibration of that and you putting this man on his ass okay you got your guard up he cannot <laughs> you're standing your ground like he cannot stand the fact that you're so brave he couldn't control your mama and that was one thing about it but he's he can't stand the fact that you're being brave this person is a part of some community that was going to get success off of your mother doing this, of ending you. And that never happened. So these people made it themselves, made it their business to continue to do things to you, to make you have to stand your ground so that they can celebrate their life when you were down. They also got your mama down and out on some type of way. I don't know. Somebody... Either way, because I'm not going to discuss about what this masculine did to baby trap your mom. But this dude baby trapped your mom... And wanted her to give herself up to some sort of community, some sort of sacrifice. She wasn't a sacrifice. She saved you. Ran off on the plug twice type of energy, okay? She saved you because he tried to spin the block again. Now, you're independent, self-sufficient, moving forward, being great in life. Like, this man got some sort of prophecy about what you were going to be as a child. And he decided to gang stalk you and try to cause you all kind of endings your entire life because he wasn't able to take you out uh he was very haunted by loss when you upgraded spiritually because now you're going to get the foundation in the family that he didn't want you to have and now he's going to be left out in the cold and being picked hot and poor so this masculine uh was receiving he's very he's blocked and delayed right now going through temporary hardships because you've had a spiritual upgrade the longer he with this with this uh s sacrifice that he was trying to do the longer he kept you in misery and in turmoil in hell quotations then that's when he was getting his rewards from this group or this entity or whatever like i said it was some satanic shit going on and he was in a cult or he still is in some sort of cult and he baby trapped your mama and was trying to do some damn, you know, 
the stuff we talk about all the time there's nothing new under the sun so the same stuff that these masculines or feminines are trying to do to y'all is the same stuff that people did to y'all mamas and y'all dads that's why it's called generational curses being broken okay these people or this masculine is very he's mourning he's in grief because you a go-getter you out here getting that bag and it's secure he can no longer bother you he can no longer feed off of your energy feed off of your sorrow this person is very satanic feeding off of your sorrow he's being left out in the cold for being an authoritarian all right maybe these people looked up to him in his group or since he dragged out shit for so long with you and he was able to celebrate with other people that actually looked up to this man whatever he's not a man i tell you that looked up to this bitch all right fresh start <clears throat> he's blocked from a fresh start okay because he thought he was about to get some more money he thought he's about to get a new house get some new car or something they were going to try to take you out they were going to cause you an ending they were going to try to sacrifice you once again he thought that he had a foolproof plan that it was going to work and now you got the victory he has the hardship and he's under judgment for the devilish things he tried to do towards you so that you wouldn't move forward now you got commercial success, you're internally balanced, you're getting your fulfillment. Damn, and you getting justice. I'm talking about, I'm hearing Nicki Minaj did it on them. Y'all know she said she shit it on them. <laughs> but that's exactly what I'm hearing, okay? This man don't know what to, mm -hmm. he doesn't know what to do with himself. Everybody who he tried to come against you, they're fighting. He's got a lot of turmoil going on, a lot of disputes. No team uh, spirit, lack of unity. So the people he had and he was working with in this satanic group, they're not getting along. All right. A lot of them going to jail. A lot of them mentally in prison. So purgatory and real jail. Okay. Somebody lost the house. They're having to move out. Um, I'm getting also the foundation of this group is dead. Whatever is that, whatever ancient teachings they used to have or whatever is dead. These people should have walked away. Yeah. It's like this whole group is about to go down. I'm telling you these people going to jail and purgatory. It's like our angels and actual police are dealing with this situation. These people are being put down. Anybody who worked together trying to make take this opportunity from you or try to cause some sort of problems for you this whole entire, your whole fucking lifetime. Shit, I'm here. I can't let my life pass me by. No, I can just try and try. Work it all out this lifetime, lifetime. Okay? You worked it out this lifetime. These people are trying to hold you back. Uh-uh. You worked it out. Okay? You getting the message that these people want to come back around and say they sorry, but that's just because they're heavily burdened, baby. They don't want nothing to do with you for real. They don't love you, okay? So you continue to move forward. Stay in grace. Whatever you find out that these people did behind your back, all this jail talk, you're probably going to have to go to court. All these illusions they called, defamation of character, things they did to hold you back from your wishes. They were. I'm telling you, all this is going to come out. They got to go to court behind this. All, oof, all this is going to come out. But you are asked to keep yourself in a higher vibration, okay? All right, love. I'm praying for you. And it's good prayers. I ain't one of them sneaky ones that want to wish nothing bad on you. This energy was heavy just reading this reading. So I know for sure when you find out what it is, it is heavy. Again, with the aspiration, do not have a panic attack. Do not let it get the best of you. Oh, excuse me. Breathe, okay, my love? breathe practice these breathing um practice it now is what i'm hearing you're being guided to practice this healing process now because once this bomb gets dropped it's it's going to be a lot and you're 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 going to be asked to handle it gracefully or you're being told that you will be able to handle it gracefully don't think that your feelings don't matter they do but do not retaliate that is the biggest message okay all right, I'm going to try to shuffle and get something else because I wanted to go get me some ice cream. And I ain't went and did it yet. So <laughs> let me get y'all some more before I go. All right, meet me in the next one.